Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 in module 3 we are on lesson number 10 and in lesson number 10 we are adding fractions with sums that are greater than 2. So this is very much like the work we've done in past lessons. The numbers just get a little bit bigger but I think that frankly is a pretty easy part of these problems and I think we'll dispense with it pretty quickly. Let's take a look at one of the problems you've got on maybe on tonight's homework. Problem number one. The directions I don't think have ever been shorter. Add. So 1c asks us to do the following. Add 1 and 1 fifth to 3 and 1 third. Well, one of the things that I like to approach these problems as is I would like to add the easy parts first. So I would like us to add, let's see, I'm going to add all the whole numbers first. So I'm going to add the 1 and the 3 together first, and I'm going to make that. And let's see, then I want to add the fractional parts here at the end. So I'm going to repeat the problem like this. Because this is just much easier, right? The 1 and the 3 are the simplest parts of this problem. That's just That just adds up to 4 holes. Then we've got our 5th and our 3rd, and we've got those over here. So now we've got a very similar problem to the kinds of problems that we've solved in the past, um, except with this additional extra unit on here on the front. So let's see, what do we need to do for 1 and uh, for problem number 1c? We've got this first part solved, right? And now we just have to figure out common units for these fractional parts. And I'm just going to think of, let's see, numbers that have both 5 and 3 as their factors. Let's see, 5 doesn't, 10 doesn't, 15. 15 is a common factor, so I think I can rewrite it this way. I've got our 4, and then I want to add, let's see, I want to convert my 1 fifth into 15 And I think to myself, what do I need to multiply 5 times to get to 15? That's a 3, right? And if I multiply the denominator by 3, I need to multiply the numerator by the 3. So that will, that will get me into fifteenths. And I need to do the same thing with my third. I have it in thirds already, but to get to fifteenths, I need to multiply the 3 times, let's see, I think 5. And if I do that to the denominator, I do that to the numerator. And I think I've got my problem almost solved here. So let's see. This is 1 times 3, or 3 fifteenths plus 1 times 5 is 5 fifteenths. Let's see. Now we, can ha now we have our similar units, right? We have fifteenths, and we can combine those. And what is 3 plus 5 of anything? Oh, it's 8 of those things. So now we have 4 and, let's see. Well, I don't even do that anymore. 4 plus 8 fifteenths is really just our answer, which is our mixed number, 4 and 8 fifteenths. Awesome. Now we rearrange those at the beginning because we can, right? The commutative property of mathematics tells us that for addition, we can go ahead and add these in any order that we want. So rather than taking 1 plus 1 fifth plus 3 plus 1 third, hey, let's just organize it differently. Let's add our whole numbers together first. 1 plus 3 is this, and then we'll add in our fractional parts. Once we've got that, it becomes more obvious that we need common units for our two fractional parts, which means we need a denominator that works for both of them. We look at fifteenths as our landing place. Fifteenths would be would have both five as a factor and three as a factor. We make them into fifteenths. We make them into three fifteenths, which is equivalent to one fifth, but more helpful for us. We make one third into five fifteenths. Now we've got the same units, three fifteenths and five fifteenths. We can go ahead and add those, and we end up with our answer four and eight fifteenths. Let's take a look at one more problem on tonight's homework. Again, the easiest directions in the world. Add. 1G, 15 and 1 fifth plus 4 and 3 eighths. Wow, okay. Well, I'm going to do that same strategy as last time, which is I think the 15 and the 4 are the easy parts. 15 plus 4 is 19. So I'm going to rewrite this as 19 plus 1 fifth plus 3 eighths. And again, this has made this somewhat more uh, daunting problem into a much easier problem where we just need to figure out our common units for fifths and eighths. Let's see fifths and eighths, so I'm thinking, I'm going to just skip count until I get to a number that I know 5 is a factor of. So 8, 16, no, 24, no, 32, no, 40. Yeah, 40 would be divisible by 5, and it's divisible by 8 because it's in our skip counting path. So let's see, I think we can rewrite this as 19 plus, and then we've got to get 1 fifths, one, we got to get fifths, into 40ths. Let's see. So we're going to need to multiply the denominator times, let's see, times 8. That'll make 40. So then we need to multiply the numerator times 8. Awesome. We'll do that. And the same thing for 3 eighths. We've got 3 eighths. We need to multiply 8 times what to get to 40? Well, let's see. 8, 16, 30, 24, 32, 40 times 5. 
8 times 5 will give us 40ths, and then we need to multiply the numerator times 5. Awesome. So we've still got our 19. Let's see. Now we've got 18 40ths. I'm sorry, 8 40ths, right? 8. Jeez, sloppy zero. 1 times 8 is 8. 5 times 8 is 40. So we've got 8 40ths, and then we need to add on, let's see, 3 times 5 is 15 40ths as well. And that gives us 19 plus, oh, now we can combine these, right? Because these are both in 40ths. Awesome. So 8 plus 15 is, let's see, 8 15 is 23 40ths. And that's what we've got. We've got 19 and 23 40ths. Ooh, that's super sloppy. Now, we have a question. Is that simplifiable? Is there, a, is there a number that we could divide the numerator and the denominator by to make smaller numbers and bigger units? And I don't think so, because I don't remember 23 being divisible by any other whole number uh, other than 1. Uh, so let's see. I don't think that can be reduced at all. It can be simplified. And so I think we're done. I think we've got our answer, 19 and 23 40ths. And if you could read that, yikes. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go ahead and type it over here. 19 and 23 40ths. There. That's better. <laughs> Serves me right for having that kind of bad handwriting on this problem. All right, well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I hope you have good luck with the rest of your homework tonight, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.